Well, Maya, it was uh, 28 to 4 at the end of the first quarter. I mean, it looked like you guys kind of came out and took care of business tonight. How did you think it went? Yeah, I thought we came out really ready to play. You know, we had a um, good stretch of games down in Cancun, and we really wanted to build off of that. And um, I thought we did a good job coming out in the first quarter and doing that. Tori, a big night for you. What kind of led to you being able to fill up the scoreboard the way you did? Um, I think my teammates just getting me the ball, and we're such an unselfish team, and we're really looking for that extra pass. So, you know, we all just look for each other, and that really helped tonight. There are a lot of... I want to say new girls necessarily this year looking to, to fill roles because of players that departed and other things. Some injuries too, obviously with Tegan being out. How have you tried to sort of you know work your way in, find your role on this team? Yeah, I think all the girls have been really helpful with that, just helping me, Callie, some of the newer players really find our role, what they need to do, um, how we can help the team be productive. Maya, you mentioned the, the trip down to Cancun. Um, it went really well. I mean, you know, beating Notre Dame and beating a ranked team. and. Um, you know, was there was there some sort of turning point? Was it just getting away and going down there? What do you think led to you guys? Because it really seems like you sort of found something down there on that mm -hmm. trip. Honestly, I think it was our preparation before the trip. We had um, a couple really good days of practice where we really competed hard in practice to kind of set the stage to, to take a trip like that. And then um, we competed really well down there. So uh, we're just looking forward to building off of that. Have you guys, would you say that you're, at least at this stage in the season, maybe a little more patient than you were, say, last year, the year before, because, you know, you were such a veteran team at times. You knew what you had with a Macy Miller and Madison Giebert. Now this year, like we mentioned, you know, there's a lot of new players filling new roles. Has that led to you guys being more patient in the early stages of the season? Yeah, I think it's always fun to start a new year and to kind of see um, where everyone falls within their roles. And I think we just do such a good job of, um, like Tori said, we're just such an unselfish team and we're all um, ready to step up when we need to and we're all ready for someone to step up. You know, we just um, really play off each other well and I think here as we got into the groove of the season, we've gotten um, to kind of to figure out our roles and how we can play off each other a little better. Do you feel like that is still ongoing? Does it feel like you're starting to sort of figure out who can do what? Right, I think it's ongoing, you know, every season. You know, we, we, we want to be improving throughout the whole season, so that's something that we're, we're obviously going to keep working on, but I think it's been, it's been fun to see how we've come together so far, and we're looking forward to, to continuing it. It kind of looked like, and you can certainly correct me if I'm wrong, but in the early stages of the season that maybe you leaned on your defense a little bit while you sort of waited to figure out, kind of develop a chemistry on offense. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, I think um, defense is something that we really pride ourselves in, and so um, to have that to kind of fall back on when we are still trying to find our, our roles offensively was definitely something that um, we did, and I think we're still kind of using that defense as a good base, you know, offense. Offensively every night, uh, some nights you just don't have it, but defensively we can bring it every night, so that's what um, our mindset is. You got Oregon next. You faced off with them twice last year. Is there anything you can take away from either of those matchups setting in since they return a lot of those players? Yeah, I think so. I think we'll um, definitely be able to play off of last year. But again, we have a new team this year. They have a new team. And so uh, we're just looking forward to the opportunity to play a team like that and to, to see where we compete. Well, a good win. Played well. I think the biggest part was just nice to see the ball go through the net from the three-point line. To see some players really shoot the ball well is important. We've been a bit, you know, sporadic, I think, from, from that area. Um, Sydney Stapleton is a really good shooter. Nice to see her get into a good rhythm, and I hope she can build on that. And then, you know, Tori is just a, a really good young player as a freshman, can do a lot of things. And, and both of them, when they can make some perimeter shots, that's going to loosen up a lot of other things for them, too. So great game. You know, we played well. I think, um, obviously, they're struggling a little bit to find some rhythm offensively. But I do think we still played well and defended well and made some things very difficult for them. So good game for us. Sounds like you wanted to have a game where maybe your team could build some offensive confidence. Yeah, I, I think we've played really well offensively. Wyoming, we played well offensively. We played well, you know, the three games down in Cancun. I think the thing that's been missing are those, you know, explosive mini runs where you hit a couple of threes and, and everybody's just feeling good about that. That part of our team, I think, has just been inconsistent. You know, we, we've made enough to, to win the games, but we haven't necessarily made enough to create some runs and separation. Uh, we've defended incredibly well. I'm really proud and pleased of, of the team for, for where they're at defensively. And I do think we've really played well offensively in the last you know three, four games. Uh, but the one piece we've been up and down on is just that three-point line. So it's nice to see that nice to see that get better today. I, I hate to ask you to review too much games that were two weeks ago or whatever, but we didn't get to go to Mexico. So um, 
what, what, what happened down there? That, that, what did you like about it? I mean, it seemed like you must have played really well to get some wins down there against some really good teams. Yeah, I played really hard. You know, our team is really competing at a high level. Um, executed defensively very well. Um, USF can score a ton of points, and they have this year. Notre Dame, they're in a point where there they're are a couple of key injuries of making it hard for them, but you're still defending some, you know, uh, All-American type players, you know. Um, and then I think Florida Gulf Coast this could be one of the better teams that they've had since I've just followed them. And he's got a really good team. And we defended all three of them, I thought, really well and kind of kept ourselves in those games. Um, I also like down there that we had to win close games and really could have won a third close game. Uh, we did everything we needed to except a couple of plays there in the last 30 seconds against Florida Gulf Coast. But we had to win close games. And, and I think coming into the year, we, we felt like that was an area we would have to have an answer to of who's going to make plays and big moments. And, and Maya was really good. Uh, Maya's been banged up too, so just to see her play right now is, is kind of a gift. I mean, she's really struggling through a few things. But uh, Peyton played really well down there and made some big plays for us. Uh, Riley, I think, is just a, an unsung kind of uh, player on our team. You know, she's not scoring like some guards do, but in terms of just running our offense, getting us where we need to, making the right pass, I think Riley's playing really well for us at the point. She played really well down in Cancun too. So, yeah, I think things are, are coming together. and We have work to do on the offensive end to, to be where we want, but, but that was a good trip for us to pull some things together. Given that it's kind of work in progress and you've got a lot of newer, younger players kind of trying to find roles and um, there was some offensive inconsistency. How big do you think it was for your team's confidence to, to get some wins against some, you know, a ranked team, a Notre Dame? Yeah, I think it's really important. I, I, think, I think it's good for them to get the win and feel like how we're playing right now, we're capable of beating teams. Um, we feel like we can get better and hopefully that makes things easier, uh, but nothing has to dramatically change for us to be a good team. Uh, we can win in a way that fits this group, and that's going to be uh, defensively, you know, blocking shots, passing lanes, making it difficult, uh, at times grinding out some offensive possessions when, when we need to. Um, and I think that, that, that really helps the team feel good about you know, what they're capable of. They don't have to be something else uh, to be good teams. They can be exactly who they are, and then we can build on that. Do you think, kind of stay with me here, but that losing Tegan for a while here, has in any way maybe been a little bit of a blessing in disguise just in that someone else had to step up and you've had to kind of find a way and it gave opportunities for someone else to step in and do some things. Well, yeah, I don't know about... I know you love to have her. But. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know about blessing, but I think, to your point, I think it's been good that others have had to make plays. Um, you know, we struggled early in the first couple of games and played well enough to win. I mean, we were down a point at Drake with a chance to go ahead and just missed a play that could have gave us a lead late. Creighton was much closer to the final score. Um, and I think some of the things that when Tegan has stepped out, and we've talked about it, our lineup has changed a little. We're a little more guard orientated. We're a little bit more post orientated with her in it. So when she comes back, we're going to have to figure out just how to manage that piece because I think we're in a better rhythm right now with, with some of the, the rotations we've used. Um, so I, I wouldn't look at it as a blessing, but I think it's, you know, we found a way to make it work and then learned a little bit more about ourselves because of it, I think. And, and when she comes back as a senior who's got a ton of experience, sh she'll fit well into to what we're doing because we've adjusted some offensive things and, and tweaked some things since then and I think fit her strengths when she comes back too. So I think it'll be, we feel like she's going to have some, she's been out for almost two weeks, you know, and, and that's hard, but I think she'll be, she'll be ready to go and fit nicely into what we're doing. Is she close? We feel like it. We feel like it could be really any day, um, but it's not necessarily guaranteed tomorrow. You know, I, I really believe that. Um, she does a little bit more every day and feeling better, so it's kind of when she feels feels ready to go and the doctors say it's okay. So we feel like it's pretty close. Played Oregon twice last year, and you have them again on Sunday. What can you take away from either of those two matchups last year going into this one? Well, we defended them well, to be honest with you, in both games. They're capable of scoring 80 plus points. I mean, they're one of the best offensive teams in the country, and actually we defended them well in both games. Uh, but they don't get enough credit for how good they are defensively, and they, are, they took some things away from us. We just had a hard time scoring in really key moments. So we'll have to build on some of those defensive things um, and find ways to score against elite level defenses you know that's the real challenge when you when you play teams like that so um, and this is the first time we've gone to their place you know NCAA tournament still a neutral site um, had awful lot of 
you know, Oregon Duck fans in the crowd there, but this would be in their home comfortable gym. And um, I mean, they're awfully good. They have a lot of, you know, pro players on that team. So that's going to be a challenge. But I think the fact that we have played them a couple of times helps. You know, we can look at what worked, what didn't, and gives us some comfort there.